We've already gone through side control. We've done it, we've trapped the frame arm, we're blocking the hip, we have good shoulder pressure. If we can get the head turning, great. Now, we're gonna go into an attack position. A little old school jujitsu move here. My left arm's gonna raise up his head. I wanna keep brushing the hair, and then arm comes over, elbow and knee come tight. I basically wanna sandwich his head in between my knee and my elbow, but I'm still here. Two, my right arm is gonna come over, elbow to the mat. Now, I either need to drop my leg back, or my knee needs to block his hip, or I can adjust and bring my shin across his body if I'm flexible. And then this is here. Now, from here, we're, he, naturally he might start to push our face and I push this, and if I can, I come right here. I trap it, talk on the phone. This is a great position. Now I have this arm isolated and I have this arm isolated. If we get lucky and he gets impatient, he circles the arm. Boom, right into the Americana grip. And to finish, I slowly bring it down to the mat. I turn it like a motorcycle, see that? Makes it much tighter. Now I pull the elbow back, and I, see I'm already getting the finish, and I haven't even elevated the elbow up. Now, he might get slick and turn the arm in to straighten it out, and I follow it. If I can press down and get this on my forearm right there on the elbow, I finish with that. I can also, if he turns in and we create a scramble, I can also go into the Kimura grip, turn my hips here, and then start the step over process. Also from here though, there's a lot of other things I can do. I can start to bring this leg over, and as I do that, I can catch this arm, lean back and break. Even if I need to, I can slither back and finish, or if I'm still here, we have the trap position, I can bring this leg over, push up, and start going for the straight arm lock right there. So that particular position has a lot of options, especially for bigger guys. The key is though, we're here, I come over, elbow and knee tight, I bring this over, I switch my leg adjustment to make sure I'm blocking the hip. He starts framing the face, I push and I trap right away, I elbow comes right back to his ear. Nice and tight, talking on the phone, my knee's blocking the hip, my shin is to the side. I have good pressure with the knee and elbow on his head. He circles, one, two, three, four. He circles the arm straight, I get that straight arm lock. Or if I'm in the trap position, I can start slowly driving my weight on him, walking this foot over, getting the knee here, pinching. I can go back for the straight arm lock right here. I can push up, go for the arm lock here. And as we get a little bit more advanced, there's some options with the toe hold and other stuff we could go to later and then roll into some leg locks. But for now, that combat position is a great start.